How's it going everybody? Larry here. Mitchell's RC is coming back at you with another HPI video. Um, I've decided guys I'm gonna be pulling this brushless motor that I put in here out. I believe it's a 3930 or 3950 KV. Um, it's just way too much power for this Crawler King guys. Way too much. Um, I love the looks of this Crawler King. I love the Ford body shell. You know I, I like I like the idea of everything about it, but the problem is it's, it's just made too cheaply to put that kind of power into it, guys. So I'm going to throw the original brush, uh, brushed motor back in it, right here, and uh, I'm going to leave that in it and, and play with it with that, because uh, like I said, anything, any, any more power than what this seems to have is it, just too much. Those powdered gears in the rear end just can't take that kind of power. And uh, like I said, everything on this thing is plastic. It, it wasn't made for what I've done to it. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to be pulling that motor out and uh, putting this back in. Okay, yeah, that's up here. here. Which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, they... they, they uh, they, they put, put some thought, thought into it, guys. I, I just wish they could have used uh, some better parts when they made it. I mean, it's, it's not, not a cheap vehicle to get. I gave, I believe, three hundred dollars for this when I bought it. Um, you know, so you give you give enough for the vehicle. Like I said, leaving it stock, it, it's fine. But if you do any kind of motor upgrades to it at all, guys, that's more more power or gearing than what it comes with, you're just going to destroy it. I hate to say it, but it's just going to destroy it. Cut these zip ties off. right now I got an extender on here for the SC so there's that that's it okay guys it is yes it is a 3930 KV guys so it's a 3650 3930 KV and this little motor screams guys it's got some power I'm was really really surprised on how much how much how much guts that little motor has it's been a very good little motor. Especially for the price. I think I give, I don't know, $30, 40 for that little motor. It wasn't very expensive. Sorry, guys, if you hear that whining. That's my dog. He's being a little jerk. Okay, now I'll turn this back around. What's cool about this, guys? Get your in, you get your uh, transmission cover right here, right? While it's not screwed on, it's held together with these little, uh, with just little clips. So it's really easy to take off and put back on. Now you just wiggle the cover ahead. off and just kind of pull it out yeah, I'm wearing that gear a little bit too guys Got a little wear on that gear like I said, yeah, if you guys get one of these, it's an awesome vehicle. Just leave it stock. Leave it stock. Because if you don't, you're just going to have nothing but nothing, nothing but trouble, guys. So these look like they're uh, 2.2. Or 2.5, I should say. I don't know. 
know if I can get in there with this. Or if I'm gonna have to do something different. Okay, and that's definitely not going to be long enough to reach in there. So, we will have to do something different here. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, go ahead and snap some of this stuff off so we can get in there to the motor. I'll do the shock here. On the top, on each side. screws that hold the mount, that holds the servo on, and holds the receiver. Okay. I'm starting easy enough, I'm going to use the, use the drill on them. Pulling the screws out of the side here. This is going to do is I'm going to just drop that straight down on my way and it should allow me to get in, a, in there to those screws. there. Make sure you got a good bite on them guys. There we go. We don't strip them out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this motor now, guys. Uh, I'm not quite sure. was thinking about throwing it in my STI Tamiya rally car, but I'm not sure. It's, it's quite a motor, guys. I might just go and build something to put this in. Another shock screw just dropped out, so I'll put it over here so I don't lose it. Hopefully I'm not getting too close to that mic making it make all that noise again. Okay, so we'll pull this out, set this back here for a minute because I want to use, uh, I believe I want to use this gear. I don't want to up that that big. Yeah, no, we're going to use this gear. And the other video, guys, I, I sounded like I said M and P when I said about these drivers, but uh, no, they're M I P. I just said it so fast it sounded like uh, M and P. Sorry, guys, about that. If I confused anybody there. Ooh, there we go. Nice. If anybody's interested in what style motor this is, um, just leave me a message and I'll look it up and see. I can't remember right now who makes it, but it is a screamer of a little motor. Okay. from this ESC. Wow, 
Wow, that water's not that good. There we go. Take this one off. screw like me, just throwing it all around. These are brand new gears that I put on here, guys. Back when I put that motor in. And, like I said, that motor was just way too much. It's even, it, it's, put some wear on these gears. This, if I wouldn't be pulling this out, we'd be changing them gears next. I think it'll be fine the way it is, using the stock motor. I don't think it'll have power enough to continue to ruin them, but yeah. Wouldn't have been much longer, guys, and these gears would have been junk. today guys so after I'm done doing this video I'll be putting that together I'm not going to do that on video though I'm just going to do that myself okay Cable's almost not big enough to I'm trying to get you guys in here. When I was just lining up that gear right there. Make sure it's all set where I want it. We'll set the Allen screw in a minute. This stuff comes out so fast we'll out of these little tubes like that. Guys, when you put your motor screws in, never tighten them up. Always put them in loose, the first one. That way you can move it around and cock it just enough if you need that little bit of room to get your other screw in. Sometimes by tightening the first one off real, you know, too snug, you, you can't get the second one to line up in the hole every time. Sorry about that. 
trying to hold up on the motor here. Fat fingers in there. Sorry guys, very not keep my arms in the way. Just gotta find that hole. side out over here a little more. I don't have it very tight, but I gotta just take it right out. Now I have to try this other one again. Start this one first. One side, if you notice guys, is a stationary hole. I don't know if you can see that. The side over here is stationary. And the other side is your adjusting hole. guys makes sense uh, do the do the stationary hole first and then do the adjusting hole just it's easier that way Checking that tension. A little too tight. Before I crank that side down, I want to make sure they're both locked, that way it doesn't move on me. Man, nice twist. You want to put them in tight, guys, but don't go crazy. You know, they are just little tiny bolts. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now, we can throw this back together here. back in. Remember, just like everything, don't tighten it up yet. 
put it in loose. That way you get that side started. You got this little driver right here, guys. Now you tighten them up. Once you got two on one side, go ahead and you can tighten it out. Remember, you're going to plastic, so be careful. I got this little driver, guys, at Walmart on sale. It was like $7 or something. Push this button, turns into a drill. It's got a battery check on the top. Push the button, turn it, turns into a screwdriver. It's an awesome little rig, guys, for the money. Well, actually, why don't I just throw the shock back on this side while I'm here? Your, always hold your driver loose also guys that way when it does snug up if you go too far it'll spin in your hand and then you don't uh, strip out the plastic just little tricks I've learned from messing things up over and over okay guys that's back together now just throw this ESC back in here. All right, we gotta clean that bad boy off. Got some sticky goo on her still. I've got some uh, extra. Ah, get off me! Extra sticky professional uh, sticky tape here. your surface you're putting it to is nice and clean guys I just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol reason being it evaporates really easily and quick and it's a good cleaner Peel this this off, and the, that's the only thing about this. Uh, it's really good stuff. Works good. It's a pain in the butt to get this little thin plastic layer off. Sometimes. Oh, and I might get lucky on this one. Oh, and I did. There we go. Okay, the switch goes in under, obviously. I don't like that. That's where it's supposed to go. I'm going to reach down inside there to turn that on. That's right. So, we can do away with the ESC extension wire. Because this ESC wire is plenty long enough. I believe if it's not right we'll swap it over and before you rehook everything down with wire ties and do all that stuff guys make sure you turn it on and make sure it still works okay we're gonna run uh, 
I'm gonna run the stock battery that comes with it, guys. It's a new man. man. Okay, so this is Okay, so these gotta go around the other way. So just swap the wires around. Red and blue, orange and black. One thing else, these things plug in good. Uh, wow. No problem with them getting a bad connection. Let's try that again. Forward. Just slow this thing goes out with the original motor, guys. It's really a slow problem. And that's what it's you know all about. That's I would like I said, leave it stock, guys. Don't don't try to upgrade it. Because you're just going to be mad at yourself. So there we go, guys. She's working. And then all we're going to do now, guys, is just tighten up the wires and put the cover back on. And uh, you guys have seen, you know, saw that when I did it at the beginning. So just do it in reverse direction, guys. And, uh, you know, don't be scared to tackle your own stuff once in a while. It's not as hard as people think. Just go slow. Stay patient, and everything's going to work out for you. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, until next time, this is Larry at Mitchell's RC saying uh, catch you later.